Well, these people are sort of like geniuses, you know, they're like, uh, like military people, like um, engineering people. They're smart enough to build on the south side of the cliff side because, you know, they have a lot more sunlight during the winter. Mm -hmm. Plus the heat of the, the sun during the winter time. The other thing was, you know, they had the advantage of fighting their enemies. Mm -hmm. They had the advantage of fighting downward. I think it was going to come up. They had the high point, right? Yeah. So who were the enemies around here? Well, we, at that time they had, like, uh, the Navajos, the Apaches, and some of the same Indians, you know, that kind of went this far down. They were, they were, they were chased westward, right? So they, right. they, if I'm not mistaken, there was not much tension until they were, the Apaches were driven westward, you know, and then that created tension. <coughs> the other people that I recall, I know that all of talk about were the ones that were coming down from Bendelier. Mm -hmm. They were the ones that were kind of really hostile to these people up here. All these that you see in, in the front of us, you know, all these are cliff dwellings themselves too, but you know, we're standing in back of it and that's why you see all this stuff here. The trees and all like that. And if we were to go in back of this cliff dwelling, you know, that's why you see a lot of trees there too. And I really farm. Farm, they farm just about everywhere that you can rest your eyes on here. You know. <coughs> on the open area, some of these trees were even here at the time. <coughs> they did some farming in the back of this cliff dwelling. And today, you can still come across wild potatoes, wild onions, mm -hmm. and you can come across uh, corn cups, but you know, they're pretty much about maybe three or four inches, but they're already old, you know, probably turned black by age, and you can still find uh, gourds of uh, pumpkin and squash, but they're kind of like petrified to the rock, you know. And um, I understand they, were, they have kind of beans too at, at their time, you know. And a lot of these caves, you know, they have, um, <coughs> like I would say, like pretty much in the middle of it. And then, I don't know, sometimes they have uh, extending pretty far inside in different caves or in different, uh, <coughs> under a shell, I mean, um, storage areas. They have a big pit where they, where they, uh, <coughs> where, where they dug it out. What they use that for is, you know, to store their, um, their harvest goods during for the winter, mm -hmm. jerky. So what they would do is cover it out with branches and then they'll re-pasture over it. So the long winter months they'll dig it up and use that for, to, su to survive on, you know. And it kind of was, it's all served as kind of like a pantry and a co uh, cool, uh, dry storage. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <coughs> along the trail as we're going, you know, we'll kind of come across bits and pieces of turquoise. And this turquoise comes out of Santa Fe, there's a turquoise mine. South of Santa Fe, there's a town called Madrid, and that's pretty much yeah, far for the travel to bring this turquoise. And I did see one just now down here somewhere, but... Um, I know it's somewhere around here, but... I know that hopefully there's that little piece that we have out there sitting... My shadow's probably... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, and then we saw that tree, 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 and then we saw <laughs> and, um, just about anything, you know, these people, you know, they never wasted anything. And everything, you know, came in handy, they used it. Yeah. You know, we Thank had you. The, turkey. the turkey feathers, you know, they make turkey blankets out of that. And what was a good thing about that was, you know, it absorbs heat from one person and um, <coughs> flex it onto the other.
Oh. And they also use that for rabbit hide for that too, you know. And they're pretty smart and genius people and yeah. all, all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, that's some pottery yeah. here. Put on the rock. Places up here, up on top, um, the new place called Chacoma, and then right on the left side to it, you know, there's no, I almost lost my finger. <laughs> there those two places where we've where been the obsidian from, you know, and to this day you can still come across big slabs of obsidian. Wow. It's kind of special. Orange, yeah, they come over here. It is kind of getting warm here. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Kind of 